shows that I've seen at Juma all together. <laughs> I've never seen so many buffalo here. Um, that's a pretty scene. All right, guys. Hello. Ah, there's a lady amongst you. Interesting. Now, the lady is the one to the far right. And I say it's the lady because her horns are shaped a little bit differently. They are the boss or that part in between. The two is not as big and as prominent as the one of the other males. Hmm. So you are really the lucky lady amongst all the boys, aren't you? Now you see the difference in the horn? This is a very big male. The boss is a lot bigger and thicker. James, you're saying we have the buffalo now we, now we need the lions. I fully agree with you. I was actually, that's the first thing that crossed into my mind <laughs> when we found out that there were buffalo around here. I was like, yes, there are five buffaloes and kahumas, Birmingham's, where are you? <laughs> this is probably not the best thing for me to say, but I would really just like to see the lions. Hello, you guys are having such a wonderful afternoon here. And like we said, it's been very hot this afternoon, although I am already wearing a jersey, but that's just me. And they have been putting on some mud on their body these four older males and I think that one to the left the one that we were looking at earlier I reckon that's probably the oldest one just by judging at the lack of hair on a lot of these skin parts see it's almost like the middle part of him has got no hair and also look at all those scars on his forehead and just how worn down are you going to sneeze oh, it definitely looked like it was going to and just how worn down uh, worn down the the bus the horns are so another reason why these big bulls come into the mud is not only to cool themselves down and feel a little bit better and perhaps get a, you know, some of that revitalizing uh, mud is to use it as sunblock, to use it as a protection for their skin. Is they, as they grow older, they go a bit bolder and well, they need to get some sort of wig to protect themselves from the sun. So mud is the best sunblock out here for a lot of the creatures. And then, of course, we've got the two very confused headed ibis that just know no boundaries and are hanging out very closely to one of the most dangerous animals to ever approach on foot. But because they don't do anything to the buffalo and the buffalo don't do anything to them, then they don't want such close vicinity. I find headed as some of the most interesting birds. They just really have no fear. I think they're kind of the honey badger of the bush. Not because they are aggressive, but because they just do their own thing. Don't really care. <laughs> Very placid time for ruminating. I think you guys have chosen a good spot. Now, it would be quite interesting if the lions came around and we could watch it all from the dam cam sometime during the night. Hey guys. Are you going to go back down? I think you should. Right, we've got also one, two, three, four ox peckers on top of this male. Mm, are you feeling charming? Interesting. I was wondering why this lone female is here with them. It does happen every now and again that females will associate with just bachelor groups for a little while, but I think perhaps there's a little bit more to the story than that. Perhaps they have all been attracted to her. How could she not be super sexy with that chewing that she's got going? Justin, you're wondering if a buffalo's jaw ever gets tired. That's a very good question. I would imagine it does, because if you start doing that motion for a while and you just do it, like, eventually it'll start hurting. So... That's why they only ruminate for a couple of hours at a time and then once they're done ruminating then they either start eating which they can do uh, without doing that funny motion or just moving around or going back into the water to the dam. Oh, somebody's having fun. <gasps> 
Seems like Taylor has managed to find one of the funniest birds out there, so let's go over to her and see what color his bill is. It seems as though the only birds we're able